Well, these are part of a biannual training event. So these are actually held every year and have been held since 2015. Uh, so they are fairly new, but they are something that South Korea and the United States hold regularly. But we can see them as a clear message to North Korea, as uh, the United States and South Korea have said that they would not accept North Korea and the current uh, actions that they're doing. We've heard from South Korean President Moon Jae-in, who's called the intercontinental ballistic missile test reckless. And we've also heard condemnation coming out of the UN. But in terms of this military exercise, we know that it's the largest ever aerial joint military drill. Uh, we also know that included is the F-22 stealth fighter jet. Now, what does have to be noted about these is that they can fly over and hit a target without being detected on radar. And it's very unusual for the United United States to deploy such uh, highly advanced jets to South Korea. So it does seem that North, uh, that South Korea and the United States are sending a strong message to the North. So given the escalating tensions in the region, what has been the response from North Korea? Well, in regards to this uh, joining, uh, joint exercise, North Korea has denounced these drills. Uh, they have long condemned joint military drills by the United States and South Korea. They've called them rehearsals for war and invasion. And uh, the same can be said about these drills as well. Uh, the military command has already said that these uh, drills will simulate attacks on mock nuclear and missile sites of North Korea. Uh, but they are arguing that these drills, despite what North Korea is saying, is defensive in nature.